me go to Paul. Paul's calling us from Arkansas. Hey, Paul. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to uh, ask you a quick question about, I know that you said that America can be great again, and I'm all for that. I'm, I'm a very uh, patriotic Arkansan, and I love this country, but at the same time, I see the reality of what's going on. And my question was, um, with Russia and China and all the other countries, the BRICS countries, they're all starting to opt out of the dollar. You know, as you probably know, they're starting to trade within their own currencies, and they're not uh, having to buy dollars anymore in order to buy what they need for their countries. And I just wanted to ask you, as uh, you know, an economist and everything, do you see the handwriting on the wall with the inflation and everything that's going on in this country? Uh, Paul, I've, I talked about the whole idea of the currency trading changing uh, a lot last week and Monday and Tuesday. Uh, there's, you know, obviously with the Russia deal, uh, along with the Russia deal and energy uh, being supplied to China, it came with that we are trading our own currency and that we are not trading the natural gas uh, between China and Russia, Russia with the U.S. dollar. And, of course, China has been continuing to do that. So does that threaten uh, the dollar as a reserve currency of the world? Sure it does. It, it, there's no doubt about it. And we've been seeing this with China and other uh, Asia Pacific Rim nations. And we're going to continue to see that. There's no doubt about it. I still think that we are quite a way off from, from totally losing the reserve currency status. And what China is using and Russia is using right now is the uncertainty and the unrest uh, to, make, to help that end, end the United States' uh, weakness to try to get some momentum in and around that. So maybe, maybe it's me being a little naive. I'm just speaking purely from a numbers. People have no idea how complex it is uh, to have a reserve currency. But I will say this, if we start to see pressures uh, coming onto Europe from an import-export standpoint, and the, the only way those pressures are going to get relieved is through a, a trading currency so that what, what China is exporting to the eurozone uh, begins to get traded in the euro and in the yuan and start trading back and forth, that will be the really start to see the handwriting on the wall. And I think certainly that, that is uh, uh, currency wars are – soon to be here if we don't start reacting uh, very quickly.